Dear Year of Recorder, my name is Teresa Sahini. I'm standing in the forthcoming election on behalf of Catholic Democrats Party. I'm 52. I'm married to Michael Heaney. We live in Timaleeg in West Cork and we have four children, three of whom are adult. I first stood in the 1997 general election. I stood again in 2002 and more recently I was a candidate in the European election for the constituency of Ireland South. Well, I believe the, the main issue really is lack of political representation. We see that particularly at the last referendum, the same-sex marriage referendum, we had no elected TD to speak out on behalf of the thousands that feel that they were not represented during that debate. Equally, with the children's rights referendum, we had no representation. I, in fact, called for debate uh, both on, on both those referenda and again, on even as far back as the European Stability Treaty and the politicians never took up the challenge. And I believe there is a, a, a democratic deficit, really. Uh, we have no political representation on the key issues. We have no representation on the issue of abortion. Ireland has consistently voted in opposition to abortion. And indeed, the primary reason uh, and one of the, the uh, policies that I hold very dear is the mother in the home. And the Irish Constitution upholds the right of the mother to stay in the home and not be forced out by financial necessity. And yet, down through the years, we have not one politician elected to Dollyhearn that actually defends that right of a mother to remain in the home and, and, and look after her own children without financial discrimination or without being forced out. And we realise now, and studies have shown, that the one-to-one -one care of a child, particularly uh, and preferably from a mother, is actually the key to the emotional development of a child and to the later well-being of a child, and that's even confirmed by the um, American um, Pediatric Society now. Well, my first course of action is to fulfil that uh, constitutional right that, that mothers have, that that babies deserve and that families must be given is the opportunity to look after the child in their own home. And we would be calling for the carers allowance to be extended to mothers who look after their children in their own home. I believe that would make an absolute enormous difference to everybody. We have a situation at the moment where little babies, sleeping babies, are being taken from their cots in the morning, put into the back of cars, uh, driven to crashes, and I have heard firsthand from a childminder that very often they have children being dropped off who have not been fed, who are still in their pyjamas, and very often they have to ring parents to say, please come back. Now, think of the stress of mothers and fathers trying to get that situation in order in the morning. Some children to school, babies to be dropped off to the, uh, the, the crash situation. Well, I believe that the referendum last year thought is something very valuable. Uh, there was, as we believe, collaboration between the politics and, and the media that pushed the message that actually did bring people out. Well, people came out under false pretenses, and I, I believe that a whole referendum uh, and inquiry should be held about the manner in which it's conducted. However, uh, if you're saying that there is voter apathy, uh, there is no voter apathy in the sense that people realise that they're now severely disenfranchised by the lack of representation. And if I have anything to say to the voters in Cork South West, it is this. Don't depend on politicians who promise to uphold the values that you believe in. We need politicians in Dáil Éireann who are prepared to stand up, particularly to stand up on Christian values, stand up on the right to life issue, stand up for the mother in the home, stand up on policies that other politicians are not defending at the moment. I believe there is an appetite out there for change. I can only ask the people of South West to uh, vote for me. I lay out my stall. Uh, we are all 
very unworthy of taking up such an office. Um, I feel unworthy even asking. Uh, however, I do believe the grace of God is there to help everybody. Um, none of us are equipped. God doesn't call those who are equipped, but he equips those who are called.